Hello there, I want to welcome you to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Danny Blue, a natural hair, lifestyle, fashion, and beauty blogger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, right now, I'm across the street from the place where two of my little sisters, two of my neos, are graduating from college with their master's degrees. And <clears throat> I just wanted to take this before I walk over there and, you know, support my babies. Um, so if you are not new, welcome back to your girl channel and thank you again for subscribing and being around and supporting my channel. Um, I am trying to reach 8,000 subscribers by the end of August and if you can help me out, I would really, really, really appreciate that. So with that said, um, this video is going to be dedicated to <clears throat> how to dress for events. I know, I know, I know, you're probably looking at me like, why are you making this video? Because it's needed. I'm dead serious. It is needed because obviously a lot of people did not learn or figure out how to look presentable at events. I have like five sections I'm going to go through and um, I am not going to discuss um, new member presentations. No, I'm probably going to go through four sections. Yeah, because I was asked to do a separate video for that and I will attach that somewhere in the video but that will not be in here at all so no probates no new member presentations I've already discussed that so if y'all ready I got my little cheat sheet right here because I want to make sure I wrote down everything that came to mind when I was asked to do this video let's go so, like I said I have my little cheat sheet so if you see me looking down it's because I want to make sure I hit all the points um service events para is appropriate so like if you're doing a walking event you're cleaning up you're cooking um you're doing some type of service that requires you to not be in a suit and tie this is where um you should have on comfortable clothing so you can have on para that is clean it doesn't have any holes in it, it isn't ripped um it isn't dirty um it should be nice casual wear um wooden pants are acceptable as well um yeah i mean that pretty much speaks for itself so para is always appropriate at this point um just make sure that your items that you do wear and your appearance in general is decent clean neat presentable that's simple now the second thing i want to talk about is the dressy events that you will be going to for example um let's say you're signing in people to a um, scholarship event or a ball, a dinner, um, a tea, a brunch, educational um, get together, a workshop, conferences, business meetings. This is where your dressy appropriate items should come in. So when I'm saying dressy appropriate, it's okay to wear pins. It's okay to wear colors. It's okay to wear your, please wear your colors and only your colors. It's okay to wear a shawl, um, a suit, Again, you do want to go to these events in your colors. Please remember if you are a Zeta or if you are a member of SG Row, we share one of the same colors. So that is the purpose of wearing your blue with your white or wearing your blue with your gold. So people will know there's two separate organizations. Um, you should be looking fly, like fly. This is where those, you know, dressy clothes come from, those nice hats, gloves. You know, if you want to have a little covering over your face, those shawls, heels that's appropriate for you. I want y'all here breaking your ankles. Um, you know, you just want to make sure you look appropriate. And again, I will not stress enough, please wear your colors to your events. Now, when you're at NPHC events, that might be different because they might want you to wear black and white and then you will just have a pin you know or a scarf or something to differentiate what org you belong to but for the most part this is where you should be getting dressed to the nines and showing folks that you don't play again they should be clean presentable ironed all of that no holes no nothing you know what i'm saying um let's move on to like informationals um interviews community events stuff like that you want to wear business attire business suits 
Um, you want to wear pins. You want to wear your colors, your colors, your colors. You want to make sure like new people that you're trying to introduce to your organization, they get it that when we do an event, you need to be in our colors. You know, if y'all decide to let them in, you know how that go. But again, um, these events are also business attire. You should not come there in jogging pants, um, yoga pants, um, anything tight, anything skimpy, anything revealing. This ain't that. If you want to go to the club, hey, that's afterwards. But when you on your org's time, you need to play that part. And if that is not a part of your role, a part of, you know, your everyday life, hey, get somebody else who that is a part of them and that is what they do and have them check you over. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with getting a fresh pair of eyes to be like, no, sis, that outfit is not appropriate or, bruh, what was you thinking? You know what I'm saying? That is not a problem to get that done. Please be appropriate and show up and show out appropriately um now the last part i'm going to talk about is undergarments yes undergarments because people feel like oh i'm in my colors but why are people mad because you look a mess that's why they're mad if you know you have a bigger midsection or if you have big chesticles you know make sure you find something that covers that and makes it look right you know you don't want a bad bra you don't want some spanks that you know got holes in it that got pieces of your skin sticking out of it so it comes through the clothes make sure you have undergarments that fit and make sure you have clothes that are your size not the size that you want to be not the size you plan to be but the current size you are so that when you wear the undergarments the undergarments aren't working triple duty to try to get you to where you want to look like and some people are like, oh, I do wear undergarments and it still look messed up. Then you are not wearing them correctly. So I suggest you pay attention to the directions. Figure out if you got the right size. And then put on your items. Because the purpose of shapewear is to make everything look smooth. And again, just because it comes in your orcs colors don't mean you should buy it. Everything you see I was going to say blue or white because y'all know I'm a doubly Zeta. That don't mean you need to buy it. So again, if you are a person that struggles with your size, whether you're big or small, because I hate when people think um, size is only like heavy set people issues. No, it's not. It's an issue for people of all sizes. So let's make sure you're looking appropriate when you're representing yourself, when you're representing your org, when you're representing your chapter, when you're representing us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I just want to make one more thing. Let me make sure. When you are dressing at these events, it should not be tight. It should be fitted, yes. It should be comfortable. It should be appropriate. Your chest shouldn't be hanging out. Your butt shouldn't be hanging out. Fellas, your pants shouldn't be so tight to where people can see your package. No, boo. That ain't what we're here for. Try again. You know what I'm saying? There is no reason why you should be out here bogus and then getting mad because somebody ended up talking about you. I mean, that's just what happens. People going to talk about you, but have them talk about you in the right way. Be jealous for the right reasons. Don't be like... Oh, dang. Did you see Danny? Yeah, she was looking a mess, dude. Taking pictures, sharing it around. No, you don't want to be that person. So I think I've given you all a good idea of things that you can do. So remember your colors, pins, appropriate, um, your size, um, as well as neat, clean, ironed, all that good stuff. Be sure to represent your organizations with pride. Remember, you are a walking billboard for your organizations and people will make or break your organizations depending on how they see you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like this content. Make sure you also subscribe if you are not. Any comments below, if you agree, disagree, you got something to add, something I left out, any requests, hit your girl up. I'll see you next time.